Well, February is Heart Disease Awareness Month, and a new study that finds one in three people would really rather risk early death than take a daily medication to prevent heart disease. That's surprising. A survey of 1,000 middle-aged adults found 21% said they would give up between one week and one year of their lives to avoid taking daily medicine. 8% were willing to trade two years of their life. What would you choose? That's an interesting question. Joining me now is someone who knows the importance of heart health. She is Allison Canfield, and she is a heart surgery survivor. And we have her here because tomorrow is Wear Red for Women Day, and it's such an important day to raise awareness about heart disease. It is the number one killer of women. And your story started when you were 11, Allison. Can you tell us? Right. Um, I'm so happy to be here. First off, I want to thank you, Stacy. When I was 11, I was diagnosed with a heart murmur, and then I knew that eventually it may need to be repaired, mm -hmm. and about a year and a half ago, I was experiencing extreme fatigue and shortness of breath, and um, I wasn't connecting the dots on those symptoms, but um, I eventually reached out to a cardiologist, and they told me that I needed to have my heart valve repaired. Did you start thinking back to the murmur? Is that what made you think to go to a cardiologist? It took a while. It took about six or seven months of me experiencing the symptoms and going through everything and ruling out um, everything else that I thought could be the problem. Because you look otherwise healthy. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, Were was, you, you had any other issues? I didn't, and I was just really busy with work. Um, so I, I, I never in a million years thought that it could have been my heart. Mm -hmm. So I eventually contacted my cardiologist and they ran a series of tests and then determined that I needed to have my bowel repaired in 90 days. Wow. Now, one interesting thing is heart disease or any of these defects, whether it's a valve problem or a heart attack, present very differently in women. And that's part of the raising awareness. What were some of your symptoms other than fatigue? Um, shortness of breath. Um, it was very difficult for me to exercise without just getting really winded. Um, and I, it got to a point, I've always been somebody who took naps on the weekends, but it, it got to a point where I needed to take a nap almost daily. And I think any of those symptoms could always point to a heart issue, something people really need to be aware of, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Well, we really appreciate you sharing your story. And I know you're wearing red a day early. You can wear it again tomorrow. Yes. I'll be wearing it tomorrow. The guys will be in red ties. And we'll just have to spread the message about how important it is to get the word out to think about heart health for men and women. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Allison. Thank you.